friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I'm so happy to see you today. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well and taking care of the best that you can and I hope that you had a wonderful week. Today is Friday, so you made it through the week. Woohoo! If you have any fun plans for the weekend, make sure you let me know down in the comments what you are going to be up to. Are you going to be hanging around and crocheting? Anything you're excited to start making or finish making? Maybe you're going to go somewhere. Maybe you're planning on making something like your favorite food for dinner. Just let me know what you got going on. Uh, I am excited because today is Community Spotlight, which means I get to look at all of your wonderful things, but also you get to look at all of your wonderful things. So if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. This is the cozy little corner of YouTube, and we love to hang out and just have a good time here. We like to relax. We like to look at what everybody's been up to, and we're all just, we're the nomies. This is the nomi corner. Um... I hope that you will stick around. I hope that you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Uh, that is how you turn on notifications for my channel. So anyone watching this, if you have not turned on notifications, make sure you click that little bell icon. Then you won't miss any of my videos. Um, I have something really exciting to show you guys today. So you guys know that I was working on that unicorn that I showed you. Well, okay. So just for a little bit of backstory in case you haven't seen it, um, I will link the video that I was working on this. It was a Whip Wednesday video. I will link it in the description box if you have not seen it, if you have not seen the Whip video of my unicorn uh, and you would like to, that is where you can find a quick link to it so you don't gotta go scouring for it. Um, but I was working on a unicorn and I wanted to do the hashtag Moose Flower Power Cal with it. Um, so I was doing kind of a floral theme to my little amigurumi and I finished it up and I am just, I am in love with it. I think this is like the coolest thing ever. You guys ready to see it? Okay, I'm really excited to show this to you guys. Bum ba da ba. So here is my little floral unicorn. Uh, and if you guys have not heard about the hashtag Moose Flower Power Cal, it is a crochet along that is going on and it's going to be a year long crochet along. And the only thing that you do is that you have to do is make some floral stuff. So every month you can pick something cool to make that has like a floral theme to it. Uh, I'm not going to go super in detail with it, but I'm just letting you know like the tip of the iceberg. If you are interested in joining, I will have that video linked down below that has all the details about it. Um, and there will be a giveaway. So if you're interested in taking part, having a little fun, and maybe being entered into a giveaway, then you might want to check that out. Um, so this is the first month of it, and this is what I decided to do. So I made this little unicorn, and this is made with the Katie Dids 3-in-1 Magical Mods pattern, which I will link in the description box below in case you are interested in it, just for quick access. Um, that is the base design of this. I made the dress myself. I used um, a Bag of Day crochet stitch tutorial to learn how to make this posy stitch, which these little posies are actually stitches. They're not sewn on. You actually work them straight into the work as you go. So I learned how to make the stitch from her tutorial and then I made my own dress with it and I am super, super happy with it. Um, what I did at the edges, which I think created such a cool effect, is I did a round of um, front post and back post uh, double crochets alternating. And then I wanted to try something new out on this bottom round. And I'm gonna kind of tip it so that you can hopefully see it a little bit better. Like that. So what I did was I did um, a single crochet, but then in the middle of the single crochet, I completely rotated my hook. So let me grab my hook. I was using a two millimeter hook for this, guys. Um, this dress, I made it in super fine one weight yarn. First time doing that, so I'm also very proud of that. Um, so I was using this tiny little two millimeter hook, and so what I would do is I would start my double or my um, single crochet, and let me just demonstrate really quick in case anyone's interested. Um, let me really quick make a little bit of a chain with this yarn. 
I'm just going to make a little bit of a chain so that I can show you guys what I'm talking about. It'll still be kind of hard to show you on this because I don't have like a full body of work to kind of hold what I'm doing in place. But like, let me make sure it's focused on my hands. There we go. Okay, so what I did was I would go back in, like I'm going to do a single crochet. So I would go through, pull up a loop so that I have the two loops on there. And, you know, normally you just yarn over and pull through. But at this point, I would completely rotate my hook around and then pull through and then I chained one and then I did the same thing in the next stitch so I was trying to create an interesting texture I'm so sorry I have some incense lit literally right next to um, this and it decided to change direction and is now going in front of the camera it is uh, fizzling out so I guess that's why it decided to change direction um, so that's what I did for the border of this and it created this really cool like little frilly edge. I wanted something that wasn't like a really big stitch because I wanted to come in with the blue but it needed to be like a trim and since I'm using like this super fine one weight yarn I didn't want it to um, just be single crochets but I also didn't want to do like a double crochet or something that's going to add like a lot of blue like a chunk of blue. So I was like okay well what about this? And it added a really cool texture. So I'm really, really happy with how that came out. So that is my unicorn. Um, I did some flowers. Um, these flowers I had done in a three-way yarn. There's three of those. I put a paper flower on top of this one in the middle because I thought it gave it some like added interest. And then I did a little, um, in my one-way yarn, a little nine-petal flower and a I believe five petal flower but it is a double flower so I worked in the front loop onlys and then I went back and worked in the back loop onlys to make it a double one and I tried something new with the hair this time I've never done my hair like this on my unicorns I normally do spirals um at first I wasn't liking it but now I think I might be liking it so I don't know I think I might like it now at first I didn't know about it, but I think I like it now. Uh, and I have one blue sparkly eye and one pink sparkly eye, but I am so happy with this. She came out like absolutely amazing. I really love it. And I plan on making more um, like floral theme, like with all this detail, like really just like coming down to the details on it, like adding in like flowers and adding in like, like making little outfits for them and stuff. I'm really having, I had a lot of fun with this piece. So I'm definitely going to do more, maybe different, uh, more different types of like animal hybrids. Cause this is like a doll slash unicorn, you know, it's not like on all fours. It's like a doll version, like a people version. So I was like, maybe I'll do more like people versions of things. Um, maybe like a cow or something like, I don't know, just like some different ideas. Um, but I think that this is super cute and I would love to do, um, like basically like a matching set. I don't know why, but in my head I have it as a trio. I'm thinking like a trio that are all kind of made in a similar sort of way. Like I'll, I'll probably use the same base body, but do different things to make them into different animals, different outfits, different, you know, flowers and things like that whatever make them different but kind of the same enough all the same size so I'm really excited about that oh and I added ears since I last showed it to you guys so it has ears it has a little horn um I did uh double stranding like thin chenille type yarns together to do the hair um and all this is is you slip stitch onto the head and then do a chain and then slip stitch back onto the head and you just do rows of that like slip stitching and chaining so it's really, really simple. Creates a pretty cool effect. I think it could be uh, pretty cool for doing like textured uh, hair on like a doll, like maybe um, like, you know, kinky curly type of textured hair. I think it could, you could create that really well with this. But yeah, so here is my unicorn. I literally love it. I think it came out amazing. I'm so proud of it. I think this is my favorite thing I've ever made. How many times have I said that on my channel, guys? Every time I make something new. <laughs> I really do, though. I love it. And this paper flower, you guys might recognize, it came from that Michael's, um, oh gosh, uh, what's it called? Mad magic? Mystery bag. Uh, that mix mystery box that I got and opened on the channel that ended up being like 900% just numbers and then like a couple, like literally a couple of things that weren't just numbers. Uh, this paper flower came from one of those little paper flower uh, sets. So 
that's my unicorn. Uh, and now we are going to be hopping into what you guys have been making. So if you have not participated before in Community Spotlight and you are interested in doing that and you want to know how, my email is always linked in the description box below my videos, but it is creations at gmail.com. You can send me an email with Community Spotlight as the subject line. You can put whatever you want in the email itself, but you're going to need to include a picture of your project and the name of yourself that you would like me to credit you with. So some people, their email doesn't have the name that they go by on YouTube and they want people to know, hey, it's so-and-so from YouTube or they don't want, you don't want me to use your whole name or maybe you do want me to use your whole name. That's why it's so much easier if you just let me know uh, whatever you tell me in the email is your name is the is the name I will use when I credit you. Um, apart from that, you can send in as many things as you want. There's no limit. Um, you can send in uh, anything that you have made. There's no like specifications of what it has to be. If you made it, you can send it. I highly encourage you to send your makes, even if you're feeling a little self-conscious, even if you're feeling like your work isn't good enough, because guess what? It is. Your work is good enough. If you made it, it is good enough. So I would love to see what you have been up to. And I know that the community also really loves to see what you have been up to. Um, everybody really loves this segment here. Um, coming over on Fridays and just seeing what everyone's been up to. You know, hanging out in the comment section. We make friends here on YouTube. And it's so cool to see what they're up to, what they're making. And also to get inspiration from each other. And um, to like be able to generate that like that positive, creative, encouraging atmosphere, um, you know, where people who are like-minded with you and they're going to, people who are like-minded as you are going to look at your stuff and be like, dude, that is so cool. You did a great job on that. And like, you may not have people like that in your daily life. So I feel like it's just such a great thing to come together and bond over it and be like, that looks cool. I love that. That inspires me. Um, you know, see things that are different from what you do. Maybe not something that you would ever make, but something something that you like to see. It's like, oh, I would never make that, but I, it's so cool that you make that. So, uh, I am going to go dig into my emails now and dig out all of the community spotlight emails and I will put together the montage and you, it will be one second for you and you will be in the montage. So I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys later. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Bye guys.